classes have been in my group before, but probably nobody else. So anytime you come to a group of mine, you start with what we call a warm-up. And so today, this is your warm-up, and we're going to go for one minute. I'm just going to look at this precious clock today for that because I don't have my timer. So what you're going to do is point to the letters and say their sound, and I'm going to tell you each word to start. So this is your warm-up, okay? Can you go real fast for me? We have a lot of learning to do. Okay, Annalise, I'm going to have you start right here and tell me the letter sound. Go. Genesis right here, sound. Go. Make a fishy face. Have you ever tried that before? 
Good job. So I want you to think today as we're reading about your eagle eye and your lips for fish. Just to catch you up real quick, these are our two strategies we're going to talk about. We're going to use the picture clues with our eagle eye. Show her your eagle eye. Ooh, nice. Ooh, espy. And then we're going to do Lips the Fish. Have you met Lips the Fish before? He's one of my best friends. I use him every time I read. Lips the Fish is get your mouth ready for the first sound. Okay? So if we see a word that we know, like slide, we're going to get our mouth ready for it. And then use the picture to help us out. You ready, Jeremiah? You ready to rock and roll? This is what we're talking about today. Genesis, what do you see in this picture? I see... I see bananas and strawberries. What did Genesis see, Jeremiah? Bananas and strawberries. She saw bananas and strawberries. Annalise, what do you see? I see? Okay. I see orange. Orange? What else did she see? What do we call all of this together? This is called fruit. And today our story is going to be about fruit and some of the different kinds. I want you to think in your brain for about two seconds about your favorite kind of fruit. What kind you like to eat the most. Okay? We're going to use these snazzy cards. Ready? How about my rhino? Do I have a rhino out? Not yet. How about letter A? Am I pulling from the wrong thing? No, I have sevens in there that okay. aren't out yet. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, letter C, my favorite fruit is? My favorite fruit is bananas. What was his favorite fruit? Bananas. Great listening. We learn so much from our friends when we listen. Number two, Annalise, my favorite fruit is? My favorite fruit is? What was her favorite fruit? What a great listener. Plus, nobody. Nope. Segment the sounds in apple or chop up the different sounds that we hear. Everyone say apple. Apple. Now chop up apple for me. Ready? Apple. Do so you hear three sounds? So not just apple, it's apple. Do that with me. Apple. Apple. Here's my next one. They're super juicy and they're little and they can be red or purple or green. Do you know? No. Nope. Grapes. Grapes. Ask me, that's exactly what my brain was thinking. Let's chop up the word grape. So just like we have one grape. Now listen, there's a blend in the beginning. It says grr. We need to make sure we chop up or segment those two sounds. So we're going to separate the g and the er for grape. Ready? G, er, a. Kiss your brains. Do that again with me. G, er, a. Grape. Now what if I trick you and I say that we have more than one grape? We have grapes. Is there another sound on the end of our word now? There is, as we, we need to make sure we chop up that sound too. So start way back up here. We're going to have lots of chops on this one. Ready? Say grapes. Grapes. Chop grapes. G, er, a, I heard some of you do it beautifully, and some of you, we got that last two sounds stuck together. That and that need to be separated just like our d and our er. Grapes again for me. Let's work on it. Let's do grapes. Ready? 
G er a. Do you hear that at the end? G er a. There we go. Now we got it one more time. Grapes. G er a. Our last one is peach. I like to eat peaches with my strawberries with sugar. Ready for peach? Each. Good. We got it. Just three on that one. Each. All right. We are going to get ready to read. I want you to remember. Lips the fish. Say hey, lips. Hey, lips. Nice to meet you, lips. Nice to meet you, lips. And lips reminds us, Jeremiah, to get our mouth. Ready. Ready. For the first sound. Everyone say, get your mouth ready for the first sound. Get your mouth ready for the first sound. And then show me your eagle eye again. I'm going to use all those details in that picture to help you read today. Nice eagle eye. Okay. Our story today is called Read Like Fruit. Read Like Fruit. Why it's important to use Lips the Fish today is because there's going to be more than one kind of fruit on each page. So you're going to have to use your eagle eye and use Lips the Fish to get your mouth ready to know which kind they're talking about. Okay? Let's take a quick peek through our story and then we're going to dive in. We like fruit. We're going to use those in just a second. Good question. All right. So maybe they're at a store or a market, but it looks like, or a fruit factory. It looks like there's lots of different kinds of fruit on this page, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, here they are. There's some prices, so maybe it is a place that you can buy them. And then we start to see there's two fruits on each page. Hmm. Oh, look, there's two here, too, that they're putting in. Part. And I see the word and, which tells my brain I'm going to have to read two different things. How am I going to tell which one comes first? I could sound it out, but I have a buddy here to help me today. How am I going to tell which fruit is first? I'm going to get my mouth ready for the first word. Thank you. First sound. Say first sound. First sound. That's going to tell my brain which word we're talking about today, okay? I don't want to peek anymore into the story. I want to go ahead and dive in because you guys look ready to read. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. To read. To read. You better believe it. We're going to start with an echo read, which means I read and then you echo. Sound like a plan? Give me a thumbs up and a first grade smile. First grade smile. Besides lips, the fish, smiles are one of my favorite things. Okay, my turn to read the title. I'm checking to make sure you are using your finger and tracking the words as I read. That's what good readers do. Ready? My turn. We like fruit. Your turn. We like fruit. Let's open up. I now have my title page. It's going to tell us the title all over again, but I want to read that because it's getting my brain ready. My turn. We like fruit. Your turn. We like fruit. Okay, my turn. We go to the... Hmm, I'm stuck on the word. I'm going to use my strategies that I know. Eagle eye. Let me look at the picture. Okay, we talked about that they could be at a store. They could be at a market. I think you said a factory. Yeah. I don't know which one of those words it is. Say hello, lips. Hello, lips. I'm going to get my mouth ready for the first sound. Let me look at that word again. What's my first sound? St. St. Which one of those words starts with st? Is it store, factory, or market? Store. Store. So, Annalise, do you think that word might be store? But wait a second. That's a second grade word. How can we read the word store? By chopping it up, by using lips of the fish, and by using eagle eye. Beautiful. Let me check that with my eyes and make sure that makes sense. St or store. Store. Let me read that again. We go to the store. Your turn. Read that for me. We go to the store. Great readers here. Okay, the words are changing, but I'm not going to let that trick me because I know my sight words or my high frequency words. I won't let that trick me. I like, 
is my picture eagle eye. I see oranges, I see green things, and I see apples. Say hello, lips. Hello, hello lips. lips. Say ah. Ah. Which fruit on that page starts with ah? Apples. Apples. Now I can read it. I like apples and... What is my other fruit you see? Use your eagle eye. Beautiful, Genesis. Let me read that again. I like apples and oranges. You read that to me. I like apples and oranges. What great readers. Remember to use that finger for me, okay? Here comes my next... Wait a second. Turn back a page. Can you frame the word oranges? When I say frame something, that means you put a finger on each side of it. Frame the word oranges for me. Can you frame the word oranges? I want you to frame it, Annalise. Put a finger on each side like this. Beautiful. Frame it, Jeremiah. Put a finger on each side. Thank you. Did you find it? See my word oranges? I'm going to put a finger on each side. Oranges. Do you see that word? Yeah. Turn the page. Do you see that word again? So, Ashley, I already know that word in my brain. I don't have to work so hard this time. So someone else might, must like oranges, too. I like uh, my turn. I like oranges. I know that word from the page before. And the picture. And lips of fish. I like oranges and... Genesis, how did you figure out that third grade word? I need to know. Your brain is so smart. How did you figure out this word? That's a third grade word. What did you do? I don't think you did. What did you do? Looked at the picture. You looked at the picture? Say, I looked at the picture. I used my eagle eye. What else did you do, Genesis? What does Lips the Fish do for us? He tells us to get our Beautiful. Genesis used the picture and her lips the fish, and she read the word pears before I even read it. Wow! Can you give Genesis a wow? It looks like this. You can even go home and say, wow, Mom. <laughs> wow is W-O-W. -W. Let me read that again. I like oranges and pears. Read that to me. Try. I like oranges and pears. I'm wondering if you're ready to start taking over some of the hard work with your brains. I think you are. Okay, let's see who's up. Who's my giraffe? Okay, SV, we are going to track with our reading finger while you read, okay? Ready? I like pears and oranges. She just did something brilliant. She did something that good readers do. Did you hear that? I know. She said oranges. What did she do, Ashley? What did she do, though? Did you notice what Espy did? She said, I like pears and oranges. Wait a second. Is that word oranges? That's pear again. I wonder if it is. Do you know what Ashley did? She used eagle eye. And so did Espy. When she was reading, I looked at that. The word well, you know what? We're going to talk about that in just a second. She used her eagle eye, but we forgot to use lips of the fish. These look like oranges, don't they? Yeah. They look like oranges. Espy, get your mouth ready. What sound? What sound? Oh, are you listening? Are you listening? You have a friend over here helping us out. Pears and another fruit that starts with that's orange. Jeremiah, can you help us out? What's another fruit that starts with that sound? We chopped it up. It's not pears. Look at me frame the word pears. That's the word pears. This word is much longer. It doesn't even have an R in it. What is that fruit? Do you remember when we chopped something up? Puppy. What's that word that we chopped up that was a fruit that I like to eat with my strawberries? Sugar. I like to eat sugar, but sugar's not a fruit. I wish it was. I know. You're so close. Peaches. <laughs> Let's check with our eyes and see if that's right. Peaches. Let's read. Who was reading for me? Go ahead. Read that page again loud and proud. I like pears and peaches. Let's echo her. I like pears and peaches. Way to use your strategies to figure out that new.
you a word. Okay, let's see who's next. We have some great readers in this group. Can we have a number seven? Don't know that one either. Esty's excited. She wants to read again. Do I have a lion? Anna, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Do you know what my brain does before we even start reading? I recognize the word we had on the page before. Do you recognize that? So my brain, that is peaches. Ashley, my brain doesn't have to work as hard on that word. Go ahead. We're going to use our fingers to track while she reads. Okay. I want you to start with your eagle eye. What do you see in the picture with the peaches? Bananas. And then I want you to use lips the fish. Does that word start with a b sound? So I bet you're right. Read that again, the whole page to us again. I like peaches and bananas. What's echo her? I like peaches and bananas. Jeremiah, I can't wait to hear you read. Could you read this next page for us and we're going to follow with our fingers? I like bananas and strawberries. Did you hear him? Yeah. Can you give Jeremiah a looking good? Jess is maybe the only one that remembers. It goes like this. Looking good. Ready? One, two, three. Looking good. Great reading. You figured out two new words by using your eagle eye and lips the fish. Let's all read that page together. I like bananas and strawberries. All right. The words change. Is it going to trick you, Ashley? Genesis, are you going to let the words changing trick you? No way. Ready? We know W-E spells we. Okay, let's read. We like fruit. Ms. Prash, I think they might be ready for second grade already. I think so. These are some great readers in this group right here. Read so that again fast. for me. We, we like fruits. Excellent. So I brought these, um, and they're called whisper tones. And I know I'm already going over time. I'm just going to keep teaching because Miss Prosh won't care, right? I'm going to have you read this story by yourself or independently. So you're going to whisper read it, which means you're pointing to the words, Anna, and you're whispering like this. And if I come around to listen to you read, I want you to be a little bit louder than a whisper so I can hear it too, okay? If you get to the back of a book, what do you think you do? Flip it over and do it again. You start again because great readers read books over and over again to become better. All right, so I'm going to give you each a whisper phone. Please take care of them. And then I'm going to come around and listen to you read. And I might jot a couple things down about how smart your brains are. Okay. As soon as you have your whisper phone, you may begin. Which finger do you track with? Okay, then hold the phone with the seat. Go ahead, read.
sorry, I'm seeing some of you turn your book over and start again. That's a great idea. Here they come. Boop, 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 boop. 